Over the spring and summer, anglers typically get several months to reel in their big catch. But there's a fishing season along Lake Superior that only lasts a couple of days. Smelting looks nothing like the fishing we're used to seeing on our lakes and rivers. The tools are different and it brings people into the water at odd hours. Rachel Slavic shows us what makes smelting so appealing as we go finding Minnesota. There's a place on Lake Superior where crashing waves meet the mouth of the Amnicon River. Nature's beauty is a tempting lure in its own right. Just look around and people don't see this every day. But every spring, dozens are drawn here by more than a scenic backdrop. You gotta run it downstream, because the fish run upstream. For Matt Stewart, an annual tradition flows through these waters. We're gonna be catching some smelt. The pursuit of a tiny fish passing through on their spawning migration. When you hear the frogs start to croak, the smelt are on their way. As a warm sky fades to darkness, Matt is no longer alone. It's just a totally different way of fishing. Not everybody can say they do this on a regular basis. Right now, I'm just trying to skim on the bottom. Friends like Austin Winfield join him knowing this catch feeds in shallow waters after sunset. If they're not running all that great, they can do a lot of work and have not a lot of payoff as far as food on your plate. There's no need for rod or reel. There's another one. Generations have relied on a simple dip net. When you get a full net, then they're running really good. But ask longtime smelters like Herb James. Oh, yeah. And Nettie never used to take this much work. And we'd fill up a net in the old days, and now you're getting three or four at a swipe. And they were a little bigger, and now they're getting a little smaller, and there's not that many of them. Eventually, all good fishermen learn to adjust. A larger net. Ready, Austin? Ready. And the big water of Lake Superior bring more promise. You're fighting the current the whole time, trying to keep your stick on the bottom, keep the lead line straight. Fishing becomes a team sport with the hope of trapping schools of passing smell. Tagging rights are, yeah, we got them, you missed them. You do get a couple pretty tiny ones, too, and you let those ones go. Big wave. Yet success depends on whether the fish are even on the move. That's well, all part of the fun. Yep. We got a bunch Hold of debris. On, nothing. <laughs> so maybe they're a little late yet. Part of the thrill is in the guessing game of timing. You just got to get out here and try it. No way. Does a hit and miss? Time of year. Ready? If you're at home watching TV on the couch, you're not out here, everybody's out here catching them. You come out here the next day, they could all be gone. Which is why Matt and Austin will be out here every evening. All oh, these are smelt. Working towards quantity Losing them. over quality. Get them in the net. Because on the shores of Lake Superior, the next smelt catch oh, that's a nice one. is never a guarantee. After the catch, smelt are cleaned and battered for a fish fry. Each spring, there are several places to catch them along the south and north shore of Lake Superior. If you have a Finding Minnesota idea you'd like to share with us, we have a link on our website. I'm envious, I'm envious that she got to do that story. I yeah, love you can try of, any it. Any kind of fishing. I know, you're, you love to fish. <laughs> All right.